My name's Brady Ferris. I farm near Fielding, Saskatchewan. We farm approximately 2,000 acres. My name is Ken Soretsky, and I am a customer solutions agronomist. I am here today at Blanket Farms in Maymont, Saskatchewan with Brady Ferris, and we are harvesting a field of DK400 TL and DK401 TL. We're off to the races. Looking pretty good. There's lots of things I look for when I'm selecting my canola. I think the first and most obvious is yield. I mean, yield is number one, yield is king. DK400 and DK401 TL have delivered on the high yield potential. And as you can see behind me, standing very nice in these windy conditions and this late into the season. Something that's come in handy this year is pod chatter technology. Basically, our whole farm had gotten hail this year. Some of our barley and peas were damaged as much as 40 to 60 percent. So there was quite significant damage. And on the field that the 400 and 401 are on, it was 10 to 20. So it seems like pod shatter technology helped it out quite a bit in that storm. Also very good weed control when you look in between the rows. Um, absolutely no weeds. These hybrids deliver very, very strong disease package, uh, black leg resistance, uh, club root resistance as well in both varieties. We're also really excited with these, uh, with DK400 and DK401 TL uh, with the dual trait uh, technology and the herbicide resistance to both uh, Liberty uh, and to Roundup. It's all about flexibility and with this technology, growers have the flexibility to go in with the Liberty application first and then come in with the Roundup True Flex rate to keep those fields really, really clean. This year, I took an extra day off to go to the lake when I probably shouldn't have. And by the time I got back, my canola was out of stage for Liberty, but it was still in stage for Roundup. So I was able to go in there and clean up the weeds regardless. So that extra flexibility of timing was nice. Times very important to us, every hour counts. So for decal varieties especially, I find that harvestability is pretty good on them. I don't find them to be too tall and bushy, so they're easier to put through the combine. The last field I did was a swath field. And on my swather, I've got a 30 foot head on it. And I was going about three and a half mile an hour. And on this field, I've got a 36 foot head straight cutting and I'm going three and a half mile an hour. So I'm getting the extra six feet and I'm going the same speed. So it's pretty nice. The sun is setting and progressing really good. To see it from, from day one to, to the end is just, you know, it's, it's a huge accomplishment. I'm excited about the 400 and 401 series. I think they're very strong. It's rewarding to see the fruits of your labor. So it's kind of relaxing to me to just hear the hum of the combine.